Iambic pentameter gives me a headache! <laughs> Hello everyone, Spongeter here, and welcome back to Quick Tunes. Today we're reviewing SpongeBob's Trench Billies. In this episode, while jellyfishing, SpongeBob and Patrick get caught up in a home full of hillbillies. All right, now it's time to start the second half of this mini series, and it's just our luck that this episode is the worst so far. And the weird thing is that it's not because of anything infuriating or outright disgusting. Well, actually, it is kind of disgusting, but we'll get to that later. No. The the real problem is that it's just so dull. There are barely any jokes worth talking about. There's the guy with the weird noises, and Spongebob and Patrick killing said guy in a fiddle contest. Some people find this joke a bit morbid, but I think it's fine. The names the anglerfish give to Spongebob and Patrick, and I also found Mr. Krabs and the pitchfork in his butt kind of amusing. Well, what was I supposed to tell him, Squidward? You could have told him he could have his money back. Oh no, I I couldn't. Why? Because I already put it in the register. But that's it. And even then, those jokes aren't really laugh out loud funny. At best, they're kind of amusing. And even with other jokes I could mention, there are other possible reasons for why I could find those jokes amusing. Like, the characters constantly saying it's now or never isn't exactly a great joke by any means. But I still like it simply because I do say it regularly. In fact, I reference it a few times in my videos. And there's also the abacus joke, which isn't that funny, but I found it amusing because I do remember that joke playing in the commercial for this miniseries. A commercial that I remember seeing on TV when I was really young, so it does stick out to me a lot. So these jokes aren't all that great. Now, why is that? Well, it's mainly because most of the jokes in this episode revolve around the trench billies being hillbillies, which leads to the episode feeling very gross and very uncomfortable. That scene with SpongeBob and Patrick burping corn is engraved in in my brain and it shouldn't. These hillbilly jokes were never funny and they keep going with it. When an episode relies on this type of humor for a whole 11 minutes, it gets jarring very quickly. Also, this episode isn't very adventurous, mainly because the pacing is really bad. SpongeBob and Patrick get inducted into this clan like eight minutes into the episode. We don't get to see them actually participate in this clan enough. It definitely feels like yet again, the writers needed more time to flesh this out. And let's not even get into the weird ending, where Spongebob and Patrick try to run off away from these trench billies, only for them to just easily run to the Krusty Krab, which kills any suspense the episode had going for it. What is the point of building up that these two are stuck in this trench billy home, when they could have just easily ran back to Bikini Bottom? So then the trench billies follow them, and then Mr. Krab sees said trench billies and realizes that he can easily make a quick buck off these guys. And then the episode ends with the trench billy guys thinking that Mr. Krabs looking at the Ma anglerfish means that he wants to get married with her and then it ends with him actually getting married with her. What a weird way to end the episode and it wasn't funny. It definitely feels like the episode never actually went anywhere. So why should I care about the rest of this? Overall, it's not good. Definitely the worst episode so far on this miniseries. And again, it's not because it's infuriating or frustrating at all? It's just really bland, it's really dull and poorly written, and I honestly don't think this premise had much going for it to begin with. Making a bunch of hillbilly jokes for 11 minutes isn't exactly funny, at least to me it's not. So I honestly just want to move on from this episode, even though the next episode isn't all that great either, but we have to deal with what we get. Overall score, 3 out of 10. I'm a Spongeter and I'll see you guys next time, bye.